what you want cause a pirate is free You are a pirate You're our fidelity Being a pirate is a wretched thing Do what you want cause a pirate is free You are a pirate You are a pirate We got us a map To lead us to a hidden box That's all locked up with locks And buried deep away We'll dig up the box We know it's full of precious booty Burst open the locks And then we'll say hooray! Good afternoon, evening, morning everyone, uh, Pirates here once again, and today it's against a Serebia called Bleach Freaks. Uh, so yeah, he leads with a Shedinja, I just um, go for a Rock Slide, and uh, he obviously has a Sash, I knew he would, because all Shedinjas has, have Sashes, and yeah, he goes for the Swords Dance, uh, I just withdraw here and go to my, uh, no I don't, I stay in, and Rock Slide, uh, I, was go I, thought I, was I thought I switched out to Chat Up, predicting the... Uh, the thingy my bob the shadow sneak meh so yeah he we both set up our rocks and uh, i'm just going to counter now and i finally got it like remember yesterday i was saying about what happens with seismic toss and counter uh... well basically let's just say it failed because um... yeah that did hmm i would have preferred him going for earthquake or something because that would have done more damage but <clears throat> meh so uh... i predict the milk drink to come and I just like um, switching chat to Encore that, and uh, yeah, that means he's stuck. So I take my opportunity to go for a nasty plot, but he sends in a Magmortar, and um, I wasn't. I uh, I just decided to stay in just to see whether he was scarfed or not. Uh, I I don't know. Chat now that he's lost his sash, can't really do that much. So yeah, I just leave him in, and he is scarfed, so that's handy to know. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to switch in Machamp now, because Machamp can take a Thunderbolt as if it was just like a, um, as if it was like a balloon being thrown in his face. Hmm. So, yeah, I go for the Dynamic Punch here, and that does a good chunk, and c I confuse Blastoise, obviously, because it's a Dynamic Punch, and so for some reason, if it's Dynamic, it confuses you. So I go for the Thunder Punch, it doesn't quite kill, and he hits himself in confusion. And he was going to go for a counter there, so, um, yeah. Um, I don't know, it might have been, like, costly for him. 369 HP! Okay, I'm happy now. Uh, so yeah, he gets the rocks away, which I didn't want. I wanted the rocks to break, he broke to did. But, yeah, obviously not. I send him back now, just to take the fake out. And that does a um, mere amount of damage. Pseudo Odo is actually really a quite good wall, you know. Because it, like, really, it's really good. It's just good. I think it's, it's quite good. I start with the rocks again, which is good now because he can't spin him away. That means Shed Injury is basically fodder. He can't do nothing. Uh, I send in Magmortar, and I just go for the Focus Blast. But obviously, because you can't trust Focus Blast at all, it misses. So, um, yeah, I don't really consider that hacks, even though it's really gay and they annoying and fail. But it is 70 base accuracy, so I can't complain that much. It's just it seems to happen more than 70%, you know? Like, with Stone Edge, it says 70% accuracy. Seems to miss over... Seems to be 30% chance of hitting, 70% chance of missing. So, hmm, that's kind of fail. I then donate punch the mill tank, and, uh, yeah, I confuse that. And yeah, Seismic Toss is a two hit KO. Um I just go for the Dynamic Punch again and of course Dynamic Dynamic Punch has fifty percent chance of breaking through and it does, so that's good good and Tilly dies, the mill tank. Um so yeah, I thought it was looking pretty good. Uh he sends in a Zelf. I just predict the psychic or nasty plot. If he goes for a nasty plot then I'm gonna have to leave in Sharpedo as death fodder, just so I can switch in Magmortar safely. And yeah, he goes for the Zen Headbutt, so um, I stayed in, and when I saw him switch out, I was like, oh my god, he runs a Choice Panda's Elf, which is just awesome, because I want to run a Choice Panda's Elf myself, and I'm going to, as soon as I can be asked to start using Pokesav again, and like, um, I don't know, start making mons. I think I'm going to have to use it sometime or another, because I'm going to make that the second pirate theme team, which is with all the pirate monsters, like the Manowar and the Leviathan and stuff like that. So yeah, I'll be doing that. 
Uh, anyways, uh, he sent in Magmortar. I don't. I know I can't switch in Machamp because Machamp can only take one and then rest it off. So yeah, I just have to leave Sharpedo in again and take the Thunderbolt. And he gets to use his crit there. But it's a crit, and then I was pretty much yeah. I can sweep now with Mag with my Magmortar. I just need to take this down. And then I think if I play my rules correctly, I'll win. So he goes for the Thunderbolt, and guess what? He gets a crit. And that's basically good game right there. Right there, that move, that crit. Remember, he got two crits in a row there. I mean, come on. That one crit totally ended my match. I could have, with his Avipom, I could have kept switched in. Um, had he have switched in a Zelf, I would have left my champion. Brought in Magmortar, Fire Blast, kill a Zelf. He would have brought in Ambipom. I would have switched out to Lapras. He would have took the fake out. I would have left it in for Death Fodder. I would have switched to Magmortar. I would have Fire Blast. And I would have won. But of course, I am, my name is Omega Pit, real name Joe. And of course, because of that, I cannot win. I am not allowed to win. It is against the laws of nature and physics and everything stuff, you know. I'm not allowed to win. So yeah, basically, one crit cost me the match. Which is no surprises, really. Just very, very, very annoying. So, yes. I hate this game so much.